everybody's doing all right hey I, I really appreciate you guys uh, checking out my channel and checking out this video here so uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the uh, the incident where I got arrested up at the, the courthouse uh, before a county commission meeting uh, this past April and so that opening video in this here is, is the recording of, of me getting of me getting arrested and that footage was shot by uh, one of the reporters that were that were in the uh, that was in the uh, that was in attendance for that meeting that that evening so you know basically what happened is you know I, you know this this incident happened on on april 20th this past april 20th and the reason why i know that was on april 20th is that the next day on april 21st i had my preliminary hearing for uh you know i i had i was facing three felony charges for an incident that happened up at a, a child vax clinic here in town and uh, I'll probably do a video on that here here soon and talk about that. But so I had that preliminary hearing the the next day. Uh, so on April 20th was the county commissioners meeting, uh, and I go up there and I speak every every Wednesday. And uh, um, so I was going in there to, uh, to to speak. And probably about a week or so before that, I had just filed to run for uh, county commissioner in, in District One. So I was walking in there with my uh, campaign sign, and my campaign sign then said, uh, you know, vote Dr. Spies, uh, Douglas County Commissioner, fuck these liberal motherfuckers. And so uh, actually the, the, I guess the icon or whatever for, for this YouTube channel here is the picture from the newspaper of, of me about to get arrested by the sheriff and them, and them deputies there, and I'm, I'm holding that sign, and it's, you know, they, they blurred out the... Uh, the, uh, the cuss words and are blacked out the, the cuss words in it. So, um, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of a, kind of a funny picture, but anyway, so I go walking in there, um, to the county commissioner's meeting and I go up to the podium to, to sign in to speak during general public comment, like I always do. And while I am standing there signing in the uh, sheriff, his name is Sheriff, uh, Jay Armbrister. And he, in the video, he's the guy in the plain clothes, with the with the mask on you know and it's just kind of funny man that you know the the mask mandate for the county had expired the month before so there was no mask mandate in place and he, he's up there wearing this mask and one of my friends had asked him uh later that evening i think it was like hey why are you wearing that mask and he's like i, I just feel safer with it on it's like <laughs> this is the leading law enforcement officer in the county he's supposed to be the shining example of bravery and courage the guy we would call if we need him to rush in and, and save the day and uh he feels scared without a mask on it, it don't make no sense but anyway so he comes up to me while i'm signing in he's like you you got to get out of here with that sign and i said oh yeah why is that and he said because it's got cuss words on it and i go bullshit and he goes all right so he turns and he goes up to uh, where the commissioners are. And so the the meeting hadn't started, but the commissioners were kind of filing in and, and setting up there in, the, in their spot. So he goes up and he talks to them. And I later find out from, from one of the deputies that arrested me that that conversation that was happening between Armbrister and them deputies was that uh, um, the, the commissioners wanted to have me thrown out of the meeting, but they wanted to wait until the... Uh, they wanted to wait until the meeting started so they could get it on record. And how I know that is that, you know, when when me and me and that cop or me and that deputy were uh, standing in the Sally Port, you know, later that evening in the in the in the jail, um, you know, I'm waiting to get, you know, frisked or searched down or whatever it is. And we're standing there talking and, and he told me that. And it's interesting about that. So, you know, in that incident where I got arrested at the courthouse, I, I got charged with disorderly conduct. And so when my attorney requested the discovery for, for that incident, there is no, uh, there's no body cam footage from Sheriff Armbrister or any of those other two deputies. There's no uh, squad car uh, cam footage uh, of me riding in the car over to the, to the jail. And there's no jail footage. There's no footage of me uh, standing there talking with the, with the deputy about anything, really. 
which is really surprising to me, man, because, uh, you know, every time I've been arrested, I'm, I'm always like, you know, I, I ain't saying nothing uh, because I'm being recorded. I'm, I ain't saying shit. In fact, on the way over to the jail, that one deputy was trying to talk to me. And I was like, I was like, yo, man, I'm not having a conversation with you. I just told him like that. And he's like, all right. All right. So anyways, in the Sally Port, man, I, I sit there and I talked to him because he was being, oh, man, he was just. He was just rubbing me the wrong way with, with, with the way he was being. So we were talking, and that's when he told me that the commissioners told the sheriff, we're going to throw Justin out. Uh, we want you to throw him out, but let's wait till the meeting starts. So anyway, so I finished, back to the meeting, I finished signing in. Arm Brister's up there talking to the commissioners about throwing me out, and I turn around, I go walk, I'm going to go to my seat, but I'm, I'm upset, man. So I start saying, yo, man, th this is bullshit. I'm running for office. My political opposition up there is Patrick Kelly, and he, he's silencing me. He, he's trying to say what I can and can't say. And if the roles were reversed and I'm elected and I'm up there and he comes in here or any Democrat comes in there and starts saying things that I don't like or I don't agree with. And I said, like, for example, I was like, what if somebody comes in here and says vote blue no matter who? And I'm like, I don't like that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Man, that wouldn't fly. And so while I'm doing that, you know, while I'm, when I'm, while I'm going on about that, you know, there are other audience members there that are, that are in, the, in the pews, in the seating area there. And they're like, oh, you know, they're, oh, you know, whatever they're saying, they're like running their mouths and shit. And, and one in particular was, you see in the video, the guy sitting behind me, he's the older, older guy with the mask on, of course, you know, he's an older guy. And so the, the thing about these masks, man, I've, I've always said, you know, they, they put the non mask wearers at a disadvantage over the mask wearers. And, and you know, it's, you know, it's like there's a reason why bank robbers and, and convenience store robbers wear masks. It's like so we don't know who they are and, and we can't see any of their characteristics or re read any of their facial expressions. And same thing with the mask. So that old guy with the mask on was running his mouth. And the thing about it is you, you can't see it because his mask, his, his mouth is covered up with his mask. And also I'm willing to bet that the, the deputies and the sheriffs couldn't hear it either because it muffles the sound as well. So you can only see and hear me. But meanwhile, it's that guy. He's running his mouth. Makes it look like I'm just like yelling at this guy and he's just you know, sitting there with his mask on. And I don't mean yelling. I mean, I mean, going back and forth with this guy. So, so what we were saying was, you know, he was like, oh, you know, sh you know, he's basically telling me to shut the fuck up and. And all this shit and I said yo man I say like, I ain't even fucking talking to you man and and why are you wearing that mask and, and and basically that's the end of it so I sit down and when I sit down that's when that video from the uh, from the opening of this video kicks in starts up and so what happens then is arm brister comes up you know sheriff arm brister comes up he's in the plain clothes the mask on he's like you gotta go he's like it's time to go and I'm like I'm like for what man he's like you gotta go and he starts to push my arm and, and and I don't think that's right because I, you know, I'm under the impression I ain't done nothing wrong. I ain't being arrested. Why is this guy going to put his hands on me? I'm like, get the, you know, don't, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. And that's when the other deputies come. They get me up and, you know, they're, they're getting, trying to get me out of there. And Armbrister takes my sign and, and throws it. And that's an escalation right there, man. That, that sign was doing nothing, man. And uh, so he took that thing. And when he threw it, it hit the banister and, like, spun up and, like, you know, goes right in front of my face. And then goes over into the other side of that of that banister, over into the courtroom area, and man, he, he's lucky that that thing didn't come back, hit me in the face, hit a deputy in the face, hit one of the other staff members that are over there. He's lucky that it, you know, it, it, had it not hit the banister, maybe it just went flying across there and hit somebody. I mean, he turned that thing into something into something that was far more dangerous than it was in, in, when it was in my possession. I mean, he just threw a little fit, and so. At that point, you know, you hear me saying like, give me my shit back, man, give me my shit. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I still don't think I'm being arrested, man. I, I haven't done nothing wrong. And so I think what they're gonna do is they're just gonna escort me out and down the stairs and out the, out the front door like a bouncer at a club and be like, and you know, and stay out, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, but no, they, they take me in, out into the hallway and, and they arrest me. And I, I still, I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> I still don't even know what that was about. And you'll see, and as you see in the video, you know, one of the deputies, of course, is like, quit resisting. And I'm like, I'm not resisting. What are you talking about? They had three of you motherfuckers, and I'm just standing there like this, like, say, you know, I feel I'm saying, me too, me too, because, you know, you know, the uh, arm is like, I want you to be fucking respectful. And I was like, yeah, me too, motherfucker, me too. You know, that, you know, that's, that's rich, man. That's rich. You being disrespectful to, to me, and, and you're telling me that I, that I need to be respectful. And so, anyways, from, from there, you know, uh, I got arrested, taken to the to the jail, like I said, and and I got booked in there. I had to bail myself out three hundred dollars. I was I was out that I was out that uh, that evening. Um, but uh, let's see here. So the uh, and and just recently, I got a check in the mail, a refund check, one hundred and forty two dollars. So so what happened was 
uh, I got a refund check for $142 of that 300 because what happened is as part of those felony uh, charges that I mentioned earlier, you know, I got arrested up at the, at that Bax clinic. What, what happened is, you know, the next day at the preliminary hearing, me and my attorneys, we were going to go in and uh, ask for one of the felonies be dismissed. So I got charged with two counts of uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. And the deadly weapon was that wood stick. Not that exact one in that video, but the ex exact same replica on a different sign got charged with uh, that as a deadly weapon. <laughs> got charged with that as a deadly weapon. You know, I just, I had a, I did a video here on this channel where I had a, a guy pull a gun on me and he didn't get charged with anything, but a stick here in Lawrence is a deadly weapon, but a gun is, is not a deadly weapon. It's, it's nothing, you know, it just, it just don't make no sense. But the other charge was a felony charge of interfering with a police officer investigating a felony. And there was no evidence for that whatsoever. So we were going to have that dismissed. But the first thing when that preliminary hearing opened up is the DA stood up and said, you know, we're going to move to dismiss that third felony charge. And they did. They dropped it. So anyways, you know, a couple months later, I get uh, the, the county, the DA offers a, a plea deal to plead down from them felonies to misdemeanors. And as part of the plea deal, they, they tossed in that. They said that they would, uh, that, that misdemeanor, mi disorderly conduct where I got arrested, when, you know, I'm talking about here on this video, that they would dismiss that charge as well. So, um, so that's what happened. So the plea deal was down from two felonies down to two misdemeanors, and then they dismissed the disorderly conduct misdemeanor from that night. And the, the whole thing is weird, man, because that disorderly conduct case had nothing to do with the felony cases, but they threw it in there. And, you know, it, it's interesting as, as part of that discovery, I was saying that, you know, there's there's no body cam footage, there's no uh, car footage or squad car footage, there's no jail footage. And also in that discovery information in the police report, in the sheriff's report, uh, the, the sheriff, Jay Armbrister, is not mentioned at all in that in that report, which is interesting because he was the arresting officer. And it's also I say interesting, but I mean, it, it's suspect, man. It's really suspect. And you can look into that guy, man. He, he's got some questionable stuff that he's done with evidence that cost the guy cost the guy some some significant uh, stuff in his life because of the way the evidence was handled for Armbrister. But he doesn't appear at all in that uh, in, in the in the in the police report from that night, which is really weird. And also, um, he, uh, he, uh, let's see, what else was it? Um, oh, and so then I, I went ahead and I filed two, uh, two complaints on that incident and, uh, nothing, nothing came of that either. Um, nothing came at all though. You know, of course the, the sheriff said that they, that they didn't do anything, anything wrong. Uh, even though they clearly escalated that situation, endangered me, endangered other people by throwing a hissy fit and winging that sign across the, the courthouse for no reason. Uh, but anyway, so I think that'll wrap it up here for this video. I think that's all the, the details on that. But let me know what you think, man. Leave me some comments. Uh, also, you know, like and subscribe to my channel. And, you know, I appreciate you guys taking the time to, to check me out and, and see what I'm about. And, and we'll talk to you guys later.